Hello everyone. A couple of videos ago I painted out these colour wheels to test some different combinations for a four colour palette I have. And while I like these combinations, it left me wanting to try a few others and maybe tweak one of these a bit to see if it works better for me. So that's what I'm going to be doing here in this video. Much like the last time, I'll start by painting the four colours from each combination and then we'll do some mixing and see what kind of secondaries we get. So as the yellow in this first combination, we've got Holbein Quinacridone Gold, which is PO48 and PY150. Then as the red, we've got Magello Red Brown, which is PBR25. And then as the blue, we've got Rembrandt Cobalt Blue, which is PB28. And then for the dark, we've got Magello Payne's Grey, which is PB153, PV19, and PBK7. So the second combination is going to start with Holbein Quinacridone Gold again. Then for the red, I went with Holbein Perylene Maroon, which is PR179. Then we have Rembrandt in Danthrene Blue, which is PB60. For this combination, I can't decide on the fourth colour, so I think I'm going to wait until I've mixed the secondaries and then see what I feel is missing. For the yellow in the third combination, we've got Azo Green Yellow from Van Gogh, which is PY129. Then for the red, we've got Rembrandt Carmine, which is PR264 and PV19. And then we've got my favourite blue, which is Rembrandt Thalo Blue Red Shade, PB15. Oh, I almost forgot the dark, which is Rembrandt Burnt Sienna, PB7. And this final combination is more just for fun, really, because I want to see how the cadmiums mix together. We've got Lucas Cadmium Yellow Light, EY35. Then we've got Rembrandt Cadmium Red Medium, which is PR108. And for the blue, I've gone with Rembrandt Ultramarine Deep, which is PB29. And again, the fourth colour is Rembrandt Burnt Sienna, PBR7. So there, that's all four combinations painted out now. I'm not sure if I prefer them to the combinations painted out in the last video, but hopefully once we start mixing, we'll get some interest in secondaries. Okay, so now I'm going to start painting in the secondaries on the colour wheel. To do this, I'm going to mix the yellow with the red to hopefully create an orange. Then mix the red with the blue to hopefully create a violet. And then mix the blue with the yellow to create a green. And then I'm going to mix all three with the dark and see what that creates. I'll repeat this for each of the four combinations and then we'll take a closer look at them once they're dry.
OK, finished. All four color wheels filled in. I think they look pretty good. Um, compared to the last video, I'd say these ones are brighter. I'm not necessarily sure I prefer them all, but yeah, they look pretty good. I made a bit of a mess of this one. I let the Queen Gold run into the red and blue. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. This combination comes from me actually tweaking one from the previous video. I think originally I had Queen Gold, Red Brown, Payne's Grey and Sepia. And I felt like I was missing a light blue because I do like to put light blue in skies. And I didn't feel like the Sepia added anything to the combination. So I switched it out for the Cobalt Blue and I think the combination looks much better now. I could mix a pretty good orange and green and while not very vibrant the violet looks okay. I was a bit heavy handed with the Payne's Grey mixes so you can't really see how nice the colours are but it mixes a very nice dark green, dark brown and black. Now onto the next combination. I picked for this one Quinacridone Gold, Perylene Maroon and Indanthrene Blue. I couldn't decide on the fourth colour but I eventually went for Burnt Umber. I'm still not sure if that's the right decision or not. Uh, I had in my mind maybe adding a lighter blue but then I thought even though it's not that hard to mix a very nice brown from the three colours what I want is access to an easy brown. Hmm, I still don't really know. Uh, maybe I should test it out with a lighter blue. Maybe put cobalt in there. Uh, what, what would you choose for the fourth colour in this one? Now onto the third one. I keep forgetting that I have this azomethene green yellow. I hope that's how you pronounce it. But while I'm not a fan of the colour on its own, I really do like the greens it mixes. And when mixed with the carmine, it makes a much better orange than I was expecting too. And while the violet is a little disappointing, uh, I think it's okay because mostly I use that colour for shadows. And the mixes with the burnt sienna all look great. Uh, they give you nice earthy colours and of course you can make a very nice near black. Though I was thinking I could replace the burnt sienna with a burnt umber. That could give easier access to darker, deeper browns. Now on to the last combination. Um, as I said before, this one was just for a bit of fun really. Uh, I just wanted to see how the cadmium colours mix. Um, I've read in a few places where some artists say not to mix with cadmium colours. I don't know whether that's just because they're opaque or that they don't play well with other colours. Um, but at the same time, I see some artists just use them in their everyday palettes as, as they would any other colour. I do use Rembrandt's Cadmium Yellow Lemon in my landscape palette and I've never had any problem with it mixing. So in this combination you do get a very vibrant orange when you mix the yellow and red together though of course it's pretty opaque. Uh, mixing the red and the ultramarine blue the violet is pretty terrible. Um, maybe if I added a bit more ultramarine it might be a little better but I doubt it. And of course the ultramarine and the yellow make a nice green. Pretty muted but that's how I like it. And I'd say all the colours mix really well with the Burnt Sienna. Okay, so that's eight combinations tested. Four in the previous video and four in this video. I think if I was to choose a favourite, it would probably be the first one in this video. I really like all the mixes I can get from this combination. Though I think it would be strictly a landscape palette as there's no real red, so I'm not going to be doing florals with it. I think my second favourite is probably the third one in this video. Again, I like all the mixes and I think it's more versatile than the first combination here. But I really do like the mixes I can get from Quinacridone Gold. Hmm, maybe I should try switching out the Azo Green Yellow and putting in Quinacridone Gold in that third combination. Uh, the possibilities are endless, I should just really pick one and do some painting with it and see how it goes. What do you think of the combinations here? Do you prefer any of them to the ones in the previous videos? Do you think I should pick one which is geared towards the kind of landscapes I usually do? Or should I pick something that's more versatile? Let me know what you think in the comments and in the next video I'll finally make a decision and hopefully do a painting with it.
as always thank you for watching